No, mate, are you kidding me? I didn't take more hatchets. How stupid I gotta be. Oh my god, Zark, you're really so stupid. Yes, I am super stupid. Oh my goodness. Hey, yo, yo, guys, it's me, Episodic, and welcome back to Last of Earth Survival. So right now, we're gonna be raiding this base, and this is going to be the first base that I don't do research on, because I tried to do some research on this base, and by the looks of it, no one raided that base yet. Maybe someone raided, but they did not post a video there on YouTube, so we're gonna be raiding this base blindly. So I took two C4s, I took a couple of hatchets, as you can see because some of the bases that are raid 10 hatchets isn't enough so i took more so okay i'm greeted here with two chests i'm greeted with two gardens let's load this truck and truck is going to have this paddle let's take the paddle i do remember that back in the days uh, when i found the paddle i really thought that we'll be able to do something with it but as of right now is just a weird base okay so the dude has here a level three wall but i'm not gonna be wasting here my c4s because i do believe if i use them i'm just gonna waste them so i'm gonna put them back here in the chopper because around the base he has some other level two walls so most likely i'll be able to get get inside of the base just like that but we will see okay there is the trap thingy and i do believe that zombies are gonna be triggering the trap thing and my noise meter is just gonna raise so first of all i'm just gonna check out if there is another wall from the top nope by the looks of it there is no walls up the top and uh oh yeah we can we can go from over here so yeah i'll try to go from the back of the base here we're gonna chop that down we'll see we'll see we'll be able to get inside of the base just like that easily Okay, two more chests, dude. Are you kidding me? So this is going to be a honeycomb base. Okay, let's try to chop this chest down. And inside of the first chest, we're gonna get a little bit of duct tapes. Let's take that. And uh, from what I believe, I will chop down chests at the very end. I just want to go and chop down all of these level one walls because I do believe that he's gonna have here level one walls inside, not level two walls. So what I have to do now is just to keep chopping down walls because these level one walls don't do a lot of noise. I just want to go and chop down his entire base and get the maximum amount of loot possible. Okay, so zombies already started coming in please let me chop down this wall and we're gonna start dealing here with the zombies here go let's try to destroy them so here go i dealt here with all the zombies and right now i think we're gonna go here and chop down a little bit lower because as you can see we still only made 26 noise like 27 right now i think it's gonna be like 29 yep and uh, we don't really do here too much noise so i'm gonna chop down these chests at the very very end all i'll try to do okay i didn't mean to chop down the workbench mate so how do I, how do I chop down? Okay, whatever. I probably have to chop down this workbench as well. Whatever. Let's take the metal then. And uh, how do I chop down the wall over here? This is the biggest question right now. I totally don't understand what's going on. Well, I'm just going to chop down the wall over here. It's really hard to chop down walls when they are surrounded by all sorts of garbage, but whatever. Okay, more zombies coming in. Going to try to chop down this wall before they come into this room. And then we are going to just destroy them with this snap transition. So here go. These zombies are done. And the only thing what I have to say is that I love these kind of raids. Like to be able to destroy a lot of level two walls and not waste your c4s and like have a couple of chests like these are the rays that i wanted oh okay look at all of these chests mate i will try to chop all of them down obviously except that i want to find at least here we go there has to be a way to open up that door can i chop it down okay i'll try to chop down the wall from over here this is uh, very cool that he has a lot of level one walls these are the bases that i wish we would be able to raid more often hopefully that makes sense because we aren't raiding here real players anyway so raiding these no don't chop that down dude okay we're gonna chop down here one more wall and that's it so i chopped down his entire base look at that i love it i love this raid and i have only like what couple of level two hatches left that's what i'm talking about that's why i took a lot of these level one hatches because if you're going for the raid take a lot of level one hatches because chances are that this base is gonna have a lot of walls and level one hatches are super easy to craft so don't worry about that so okay Okay, so I believe that we will be able to chop down all of these chests just with three hits right now. So I have to be very careful and hopefully these hatchets are going to last me for quite some time. So, okay, one, two hits over here, one, two hits on this chest. And I think I'm going to do double hit on this chest here as well. And I just want to see if we open up chests with two hits, right? This is just going to be a test chest yeah this is a test chest and we got some iron definitely let's take that. So I think I'm going to damage the rest of the chest just with two hits. So all these chests are just one hit away from being destroyed with this uh, level 2 hatchet. So I'm just hoping that these zombies aren't going to destroy me into tiny smithereens. And uh, yeah, okay, so I'm going to start chopping them down from over here. This is going to be my first chest. We got some wood. And so far, this is going to be my favorite raid. Like, I've done good, good raids in the past, but the design of this base is going to be my favorite so far. So my, uh, people don't like honeycomb bases, right? And myself included, I don't like them when they are level 3 honeycomb bases. But when you are able to basically destroy this entire base, just like that it's super interesting it is super fun i wish we could have more bases like this even bigger bases with level one walls level two walls inside those uh 
bases aren't expensive to raid. And that's what's so cool about them. Like, I don't know what to say. These are very interesting bases to raid. Okay, he has a couple of more chests over there. So I believe we might actually die on the spikes and steal some more stuff from the base because apparently I don't have enough hatchets. Like I have only one more hatchet left and I took already here like what, 15 hatchets? So yeah, dude. Yo, we're gonna go there quickly. Come over here on this spike, dude. Dude, dude, dude. Here we go. Hopefully gonna revive at the base and that base that we are raiding right now isn't gonna disappear because chances are it might disappear, but I'm doing it only once. So everything should be fine. So this is basically how this trick works. You go back to the base. We're gonna be able to loot here our chopper and then I'll be able to fill that chopper once again. So regardless of whatever loot I get, I'm already happy with what I got. Like wood is kind of cool. Again, you could probably go and get that wood in like 10 minutes, probably even less in five minutes. But I like to take wood from the raids if raids don't offer me anything else. Like if that base had something better to loot, I would obviously take something else. But again, when they don't give me anything, I would prefer to take wood rather than coming back home with empty hands. So here we go. This base is still over there. Let's run over there. Over there, over there. And hopefully my noise isn't gonna raise too much. I think I'll start chopping down the chest from the very, very back because that base is so tight. And if the blind one is gonna spawn, he will literally destroy me. I think noise raised a little bit because we have 79 noise and I think we had like 73 maybe. Maybe we got a little bit more noise. I'm not sure about it. But in any case, let's pick up all of our loot over here. Let's take the weapons. Let's take my bandages. And I think I'm gonna be ready to start chopping down the chest. The big one, I mean, the blind one is gonna spawn any second. No, mate, are you kidding me? I didn't take more hatchets. How stupid I gotta be. Oh my God, Tark, you're really so stupid. Yes, I am super stupid. Oh my goodness. I forgot to take more hatchets. Am I kidding here myself? Seriously, how? How can I be so stupid? I came there to the base. I wasted, like, probably this hatchet isn't even gonna be enough right now. But you know what? We make mistakes. Everything is okay. We're still... Oh. <laughs> you don't have hatchets? This dude is gonna give you more hatchets. I'm happy. Everything is fine, guys. Nothing happened. Stop screaming. Everything is okay. Everything was calculated. I knew it. I could... I, could, I knew that this dude is gonna have hatchets in, in, in his chests. I didn't know anything. It's it's pure 100% coincidence and luck. Oh my god. I'm lucky. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's calm down. Everything is okay. Let's fill up my chopper here once again. So apparently this is how I filled up my chopper. I mean, these two oaks, get out of here. I probably prefer to put their nails. Let's go. And the only problem right now is that the big one is gonna spawn any moment and my armor is gonna break pretty soon. And this dude still has a lot of chests to destroy. So what am I gonna do? The big one is gonna spawn and he'll come inside. And how will I be leaving the base? Like, I can still try him over here. There is a plant. So if other zombies are gonna spawn, it will be so hard to do. Well, this chest is kind of easy to chop down, right? And I still have a lot of chests, man. I don't know where to start even. Okay, I'm gonna try to exit the base. And the biggest thing that I have to do right now... Okay, mate. Oh my goodness. This isn't gonna be easy. This is not gonna be easy. Okay, my armor is gonna break. Oh my god. I should have taken new armor when I came back there to my base. I think I'm gonna just uh, destroy this right. I think I'm gonna fail there horribly. It is dangerous to come inside of that room. He's just gonna block me. There is no way I can escape. Well, I have my sprint skill. Let's activate it. Gotta go around the circle. Hopefully the blind one is coming from the other side. I'm coming over here. And these were the chests that I didn't loot. Okay, my shetties and some other cool stuff. Definitely gonna take them. Just gotta exit this place now somehow, some way. Here we go, gonna lure around the circle. And yeah, I exited the place so far. Okay, so I know that he's gonna have some machetes over there. Gonna try to pick them up. So I spawned back here at the base. Gonna try to activate my sprint skill. Here we go. I think I activated the sprint skill. Let's go over here. Let's heal up super quickly. Oh no, they both came from the different side. Okay, so I have to basically now go like this. Okay, so I still survived. Cool. But I want that dude to come from the other side. Uh, here we go. We spawned once again, activating the sprint skill. Gonna go from the other side. Hopefully the big one is gonna come from the other one, not from the front. So what I'll try to do right now is chop this chest down, checking it out. And he got a lot of wood. Gonna take that. And to be honest, wait, we'll see what we're gonna do. I will still try to go and let them go from this side. I still have a couple of bandages. Still could probably open up one more chest. Well, we're gonna spawn here back at the base. Gonna activate the sprint skill. And I believe that I am not gonna be chopping down any more chests because my armor is gonna break. If I just had a bit more armor, everything would be way better. But what I will do is open up that chest. We took some road signs. Now we are gonna exit the place. Here go, just healed up. And I'm exiting this. Uh, we could probably open up more stuff, right? We could probably take something else from the base. 
But truth to be told, my armor is gonna break any second, and if it breaks, that big one is gonna literally destroy me probably with one hit, so I'm not gonna risk this, and I don't think that dude is gonna have anything better in the base anyways. Like, I'm happy with what I got. And this base definitely gets Cyrex approval, 100% super amazing base. So after we are done with that raid, right now I'm gonna prepare to go for another raid, and yes, indeed, we're gonna be doing double raid today. I'm and after that, I think I'll go to police department, and we will open up a couple of green crates, and after that, I'll have that full trunk of weapon crates that I'll be opening up as well, but Right now we have to do the third floor and I think we have to kill that revenger at the farm So that's what we will do and uh, I'll be clearing the full third floor with these Uzis because like I said my Uzis are new favorite weapons They are super fast super great and they never miss like right now I really wish I could get more Uzis here. For yes <laughs> Speaking of the Uzis we got the Uzi here in the green crate very nice and over here We got just double glocks. Well, okay gl glocks are good as well, right? I'm not gonna still I'm not gonna say bad anything about glocks glocks are still good But dude Uzis are like on the next on the next level right now like they are my favorite ones i can't believe that they don't miss i don't really know how long can i hold them but like i think i've dealt with like swarms of zombies and the uzi haven't missed a single shot so that's insane like look at this i'm gonna gather all of these dudes right just for the sakes of edutainment right gonna gather all of these peeps and look at that i'm just gonna hold it right now and look at that i'm just i keep shredding them and i haven't missed a single shot like, I don't understand how that works. Like, it's insane. It never happened like that before. Here, we're gonna gather these dudes. Gonna gather these schmucks. And I think I'm also gonna take... Well, that's super bad. I shouldn't be doing this, obviously. Because the more zombies I take, the more damage I'm gonna take in. But I just wanna check out when will the Uzi stop missing. My dude just keeps shaking like crazy. And he just doesn't miss. Like, I don't understand. That's why I love it so much. It's better than Glock. It's crazy fast. And it does a lot of damage per second, I think. I'm not sure if it's as the same as AK, but it does probably more damage per second than my m16 so that's super cool look at that how we're gonna deal with this frenzy giant okay he's probably gonna touch me so i have to move away i'm not sure about durability though i do believe that their durability isn't going to be that great like i think that okay you know what let's actually check out the full durability with the mini uzi because you can actually kill five frenzy giant with unmodded glock because glock has 2000 damage and uh, frenzy giant has 500 so that's pretty easy so okay we're gonna check out how much damage we're gonna do here to frenzy giant with my uzi okay we dealt with it and to be honest Oh my god, the durability that it has is insane as well. Like, this is legitimately my favorite weapon right now. I'm gonna check out also how much damage will the Glock do. But the point is, we use here, like, what? Let's say 10%. So we can kill here 9 Frenzy Giants, maybe? So most likely that Uzi does over 4,000 damage. That's insane. I I'm seriously super surprised. I've been playing this game for really quite some time, and I usually never checked out Uzis that much, but they are insane. I don't know how much damage they do if they aren't modded, but this is on the next level. Like, ugh. Insane. Okay, so my goal right now is to find another Frenzy Giant and I'll try to do the same thing here with my Glock and we see and we will see how much damage will I do with that Glock to the Frenzy Giant. I mean, how much my Glock is gonna break, so I'll try to keep that Uzi over here in the corner and I'm gonna take a different one. This way it will be the easiest to compare these two weapons because they, I don't really know how much damage does my fully modded Glock do, so it's kind of hard to do this. Okay, we can deal here with this Toxic Spitter. Here go, he's destroyed. And obviously I can deal here even with that Frenzy Giant, but we aren't gonna do this. So durability on these Uzi probably is good as well, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so there's one more Frenzy Giant. That's what I'm gonna do. Here we go. I'm gonna take now my Glock and I'll try to damage that dude and I will see how much damage would my Glock lose. Okay, so look at that. Now we can compare these. This this was the Glock that I used, right? Yeah. And this was the Uzi that I used. You can see clearly that Uzi has even more durability than a Glock, right? I mean, we could switch between both of them and... Uh, yeah, Uzi has a bit more durability than a Glock, so that's that's insane. Like, seriously, this makes officially Uzi my favorite weapon right now. I definitely want to check out different stock with that tactical stock, because if you want to be using Uzi yourself, I believe the tactical stock here adds up a lot of stability. That's why it's so cool and it doesn't miss. But again, I don't think you have to be holding it for forever. There's this, that other stock, uh, I don't know how it's called, refined stock or whatever, but it's good as well. Here, I'm just coming inside here and dealing with those bad boys just like this. Insane, dude, oh my goodness. Ah, so good. Here, Good. Let's deal with this frenzy giant very quickly and it's kind of satisfying I would say that this is the most satisfying weapon to shoot because it doesn't miss as of right now because if it missed It wouldn't be really that cool That's why I didn't really like the stock Uzi because it was missing a lot So I never thought that you know applying like certain mods to it would make it that much better So that's why I never really liked it, but I thought it's it's good anyways But I just didn't really like it because I thought that it's missing that it misses a lot But with cool mods, it doesn't even miss so it seriously officially makes uh, makes it my favorite uh, weapon here in last Earth. So 
survival right now. Okay, so I just want to do a quick little test. I'm going to take one Uzi and I want to count how many Frenzy Giants I'll be able to kill with this Uzi. I'm not going to use this Uzi on anything else besides Frenzy Giant. So this is going to be my first Frenzy Giant over here in the Bunker Alpha. And we already shredded one Frenzy Giant. Oopsies, did I just miss the Uzi? Oh no, I have it. Here we go. So that was our first Frenzy Giant. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Let's count how many I'll be able to destroy. I believe that it's going to be like six or something. Like, I don't think we'll be able to destroy nine Frenzy Giants. That would be insane, but like six. Probably that's possible. So here we go. There's going to be the second Frenzy Giant. Let's try to deal with him uh, very quickly. Okay, so there is no way we'll be able to destroy all, uh, nine Frenzy Giants with that. I think we'll be able to destroy like, yeah, around six Frenzy Giants with it. So that's over 3,000 damage. Uzis are insane. But Sarki said that thousand times already today. This is the Uzi day today. So we're going to talk about it a lot. Okay, so I have to put that Uzi back in another spot because I'm going to keep it only for the Frenzy Giants. So now let's uh, deal with these other bad boys, I guess. I kind of regret right now uh, recycling a few of my Uzis. The point is, maybe if you don't have any mods, Uzi isn't really that great. But again, I didn't really use it that much. But definitely save your Uzis for the mods. This is seriously one of the best weapons probably you can get here right now. So, okay, let's take back this one for the Frenzy Giant. And this is going to be my third Frenzy Giant with this Uzi. Let's go. And it's destroyed. Here we go. We destroyed three Frenzy Giant. And we aren't even at the half of the durability over here. So, we can easily destroy three Frenzy Giants. So, that's over 3,000 damage already. Like, oh my god. I don't know. <laughs> Why am I so excited? Oh, and here we go. This is going to be that huge room. We have to clear it anyways because I have to do it for the sakes of tasks. But here we go, guys. We're going to come inside. I'm just going to hold it. I don't even have to worry about it. We're going to deal with this entire room without missing a single bullet. Like, is that uh, insane? Yeah, we dealt with this room just like that. <laughs> oh, my God. Even AK. You know what? Even AK would probably struggle like that a little bit because AK sometimes misses. This thing doesn't miss. I do know that a lot of people have been saying that it's good and stuff like that, but I really don't think that a lot of the people really, really tested out that Uzi properly. So, hey, past Cyric was kind of dumb. Don't listen to the past Cyric because he has no idea what he's talking about. Listen to the current Cyric and Cyric. Current Cyric says that save Uzis. Uzis are cool. <laughs> Next up, that you know, Kefir nerves Uzis. And uh, yeah, okay, we gotta go and deal with this Toxic Abomination. And uh, right now, let's go and kill our fourth Frenzy Giant, I believe. Here we go. This is gonna be our fourth Frenzy Giant with this Uzi. And uh, look at that. We still dealt 2,000 damage, so that's like fully fully unmodded Glock, right? So we still have that much durability over here. Okay, let's go. Let's deal with this room. I mean, I didn't really check how much damage does AK do. I'm, I feel like that most likely AK is gonna be able to destroy... Uh, that AK is gonna have even more durability than Uzi, but in any case, we are and talking about AK, we all know that AKs are good now anyways. So I think I'm done with the full third floor, but I still want to go into that gas room, so I'll try to go over there. Well, joke's on me. I think I've deleted all of my gas masks here at Bunker Alpha, and even at the base, I don't have a lot of them. I think maybe I have like max of five gas masks, so I think I'll start collecting them because now there is those special rooms at the forests or at the stone zones or whatever where you can go to the gas room. I mean, in those basements, dungeons, whatever you want to call it. So I definitely have to be more cautious and save those up. So right now we're going to do quickly the farm and after that we'll be able to go for another raid and then we're going to open up full uh, trunk. Yeah, we're going to open up full trunk of those weapon crates and we'll see how many weapons I'll be able to get from there. And farm will be really, really easy to do because we have these cool Uzis and all I have to do is now kill this Revenger and after that... I think we're still gonna open up the blue crate because I want to get a couple of melee mods. I don't know if it's totally possible to get that active saw blade mace for it because I still haven't seen anybody confirm that someone got here that active saw blade mace from the farm because they keep saying that you can get it only at police department, but I don't know. I wish we can get it here, so we'll check that out. Yes, we got another blue crate still once again at the same spot because I think last time when I did the farm, the blue crate was over here in that corner, and again, I was lucky. Like I said, there are four corners where can this blue box spawn, so... Whenever you're doing farm, your top priority is to locate that blue box and then you can move accordingly. And then obviously you have to deal with the Revenger. And to be honest, I don't even think you have to destroy the Revenger, but he's kind of really, really easy to deal with. Just use a couple of melee weapons. And if you have a lot of times, you can even destroy him with fists. So it's easy peasy. Here we go. There is that Revenger and we are going to be using Uzis because we are too cool for melee. <laughs> let's go. Let's deal with this schmuck super quickly. 2000 damage is going to be easy peasy. He's not even going to spit at us. Look at that. 
Okay, he just teleported. What was that? Have no idea. Uh, okay, still 400 damage. Just die, mate. Just like that. Here we go. He's completely destroyed and he dropped us big bones. Very nice. And let's take those pieces of cloth and we are gonna craft two bandages with that. Where is my second bandage? Here we go. Let's craft it over here. Let's... Oh, yeah. They added up. Cool. Now I will also try to loot this farmhouse because sometimes inside of the farmhouse you might get really, really decent stuff. So let's open up the first door. And obviously, as soon as I will start opening that up, somebody's gonna come here, no? Where are those raiders? Just like I said, these... Uh, okay, this time there weren't raiders. These were rotten yokel. They definitely changed something in the farm. Please tell me down in the comments. Whatever you do the farm, when you try to loot this shelf or whatever, do zombies attack you? Do these raiders attack you? Or am I the only one? Because before I remember when the first time farm was released, nobody was attacking you when you were here at that house. Uh, when you were here at this house. But now literally everyone attacks me whenever I enter this farmhouse. So that's kind of weird. I don't know. And I don't know if you need here a burglar skill to open this door up or no. But hey, who knows these things these days. Okay, here we go. We dealt with that bad boy. Let's deal here very quickly with this savage giant into tiny little pieces. Here we go. Let's loot this closet. And maybe inside of the closet, we are going to get a shovel. Okay. Okay. Whew, a shovel, baby. I mean, shovel is kind of cool if you don't have any melee weapons, but we have enough, like, two racks full of melee weapons. I don't even have space to keep them anymore because I open a lot of green crates, and if you, if, if you want to have a lot of green crates, then keep opening up green crates at police department, and you will be rich. Like, again, that meme, literally no one in Happy Cyric open up green crates at police department. <laughs> here we go. We're going to place here the blue box. I will also take now here probably my Uzi, right? We're going to take here the spread shot. A lot of the zombies are gonna come in here. Go, let's deal with these diseased wolves. First of all, dealt with them. Now gonna gather most of these zombies. Spread shot. Uzi on top. Okay, okay. Savage giants are closing in. That's sad. So usually I would suggest you to just troll these savage giants over here. So a bunch of these savage giants are gonna come to one place. You're just gonna go around and you'll open up that box because these savage giants are way slower than you. But I want to reach my level 200 as fast as possible because, I mean, the only way to reach it is gonna be by dealing with the zombies. I don't want to stay here at level 182 for a really long time. I want to reach level 200 ASAP. So that's what we are gonna do. And these savage giants do give me a little bit of experience. Actually, they give me 459 XP, so that's cool. Here we go, let's deal with one more uh, savage giant, just like that. Get out of my face. And I believe, did the farm open up? No, farm did not open. That's a bit sad. So here we go, let's loot this thing. And we got just a simple cleaver blueprint, another shotgun, a machete, pretty cool. Let's re Oh, valuable survivor diary. Nice. These valuable survivor diaries are so cool. Here, well, let's take one more skill and we're going to take this iron miner. Uh, very amazing. We are at level 180 something. Again, not even going to be taking this metal handle because it is completely 100% useless. I'm not going to be able to give it to the specialist. I mean, I'll give it, but the specialist isn't going to give me anything back. So not even going to worry about it. And I guess right now we're done, right? Yeah, we're going to go for the raid super quickly. I just, I'll just loot these bags. Maybe we're going to get something inside of them, like some coal maybe and inside we indeed got some coal some carrots and that's it i'm getting out of here so right now we're gonna be raiding this base and i've done some research and finally i was able to find what kind of base this is and i don't know what kind of loot i will get there the only thing i know is that i don't really need any c4 so i didn't take any c4s so hopefully this is the same base that i have seen there on youtube and right now let's just hop inside and let's check it out what kind of loot we're gonna get first of all like always we're gonna start checking out his truck and truck was empty and yes indeed this is the same base that i have seen i think i'm gonna chop down here one level one wall it's it's gonna do like two noise anyway, so it's not a big deal. Uh, yeah, it's totally empty over here. I do know that he might have like three, four chests, but like seriously, other than that, I know nothing. So here we go, there's gonna be that chest. I think I'm gonna chop it down from over here. Like I always suggest you chopping down doors instead of walls because sometimes there might be either a work workbench or maybe a CB radio and you won't be able to go through that wall. So, hey, so here we go. There are a couple of chests. I think let's open up this one. And uh, I'm just happy that this raid didn't require any C4s because it's total garbage. Let's say if I had to use C4 for this small room, that would have been sad. This isn't as exciting raid as last one. But again, we got some healing items. I like it. Every time I get healers here, I like it. A lot, a lot. And uh, should I take beans? Whatever. Let's take beans. Beans are cool. Wish, you know what? If I got, let's say, this raid on my free-to-play account, that would be super awesome, you know? Like, if you are raiding every single day, let's say, if you are raiding, like, once in a while, like, these raids might be pretty cool. Like, this raid would be really cool for my free-to-play account right now. Like, I would really love it. 
Except that for me, you know, I'm playing here a lot. I'm grinding just basically for the raids because like I said, I've been playing this game for a really long time. So if you've been playing this game for over a year, then raids are the only fun thing that you have to do here. So you expect them to be a bit better. But if you just started to play the game and you start raiding, then raids are going to be really cool because there is still a lot of other things that you can do and you don't really focus much on raids yourself. So that's why raids are going to be super cool because you won't be raiding every day because there are still so many other things that you have to do here at this game besides raiding. So even if you're going to get a bad raid, it's still going to be good for you. Hopefully you understand what I'm trying to say here and hopefully I'm not saying here any gibberish. But here we go. Let's fill up my chopper with all of that garbage. Let's put this. Let's put some aluminum but so far raid is okay like seriously pretty good like in these small chests i'm glad that we got these kind of items i still didn't open up everything here but the raid boy was definitely amazing okay did i open the chest up okay i did not let's open it up and maybe inside of this one we're gonna get like 20 grenades and inside we got some oak i don't think i'm even gonna be taking these three pieces of oak because they're just gonna take my inventory space not a big deal yeah, I gotta take bolts because I might run out of bolts at the base. Like, bolts are kind of important, you know? And let's chop down this chest. And after that, I'll try to delete a couple of workbenches. Maybe we'll get something cool inside of the workbenches. And over here, we got nothing besides that one hatchet. Let's take that. And is there anything else around the base? I believe that's it. He has the radio that I cannot chop down. Okay. And uh, over here, he has something else. So also, sometimes I don't check full base. Sometimes they have something else. So I just want to make sure that this dude doesn't have anything. Yeah, this dude doesn't have anything else. This is his full base. Wait, we can probably even on zoom to see it uh, but it doesn't help the zooming skill doesn't show anything more than on the minimap i guess okay so now we'll try to deal with this metal workbench and we got nothing so i believe we're gonna exit this base right now this base gets definitely psyx approval and now finally we're gonna go to police department gonna open up a couple of crates over there and then we'll go back to the base and we're gonna open up full trank of these weapon boxes and once again we're gonna be rich boy so here we go let's take five of these green crates i mean badges here we go let's take that it will be super awesome i'm excited actually to open that up because look at this we have here this full trunk of these weapon boxes and we'll be definitely able to fill that up and plus we'll open up one more extra <laughs> So that's cool. Police department, here I come. Welcome, welcome, Raider. What's up, what's up? He's probably thinking that I'm crazy from the last time when I opened up five purple. Don't worry, dude. I still have enough green badges. We're gonna pay all of them off. Everything is fine. Whatever, let's open up now five green. And I can't wait to open up those uh, simple boxes. Here we go. Let's put those inside. And inside we got one box. Okay, almost opened it. Almost opened it. Okay, did I get any blueprints that I didn't have? And, uh, well, didn't get any guns besides this Winchester. Okay. So, well, I looted the place, took what I needed, took care of these boxes. Now, let's go back to the base. Okay, first of all, we gotta loot this vending machine because sometimes we might get here an energy drink. And I always gotta pick up that energy drink. We got nothing besides this trash. Let's take trash to the base as well. It's like, why do you pick up trash? This is a top tier secret. So make sure to smash that like button for more secrets. So now we're going to be opening up this full trunk full of these weapon crates. I believe there are going to be 46 weapon crates and let's open that up. We could probably wait until we're going to be able to get full rack of it. But you know what? Who cares? Let's open that up. This is going to be our first one. And you know what? I'm not even going to wait. We're going to open them up just like that. Oh my God, dude. Dude. Dude, look at all these guns. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this is what I'm talking about. Satisfaction, boy. <laughs> I really like it, dude. Okay, now we're gonna click that sword button. Look at how many guns we've gotten from that boy. And all of those crates were like, probably I would say 80% of these crates were coming from the green crates. This is insane. Look at all the guns that I've gotten. Ah, this is beautiful. So we got 18 guns from 45 crates. I guess that's totally win-win. Like now I'm gonna go and place these guns back to whatever racks. Gotta go and fill that rack up back with guns because it's not completely full. Let's place that over here. Here we go. We have back our full uh, rack full of guns. Very nice. And plus I had another rack full of guns, but I think I took a couple of them. So it's not gonna be full here as well. Here we go. Let's fill that up. So I have totally completely two full rack full of guns. And then I have like other two, three racks that aren't really full like this one. And I think I'm gonna just place the rest over here. Yeah, let's put all... Ah, this is so awesome. So just like I said, if you want to be rich like that, do police department and open up green crates because uh, this is how I got all of these melee weapons just basically from the green crates. Just do it. Okay, now we're going to upgrade this trunk into a rack because it's time to upgrade it. Let's take some oak. Okay, hopefully that is going to be enough. Here we go. Let's go over here. Yes, indeed. Let's upgrade this rack into a... I mean, this trunk into a rack. This is so awesome. Now we're going to be able to store even more melee weapons. Yay. So I also did to check 
checking out this last on Earth survival video where we got the rarest pattern from the raid, click here on the second card and you will go to my Until Dawn Let's Play where nobody sees Dawn. It's a really pretty cool and funny horror game. Just make sure to check it out. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you will find a lot of other games that I've played here on the channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop that subscribe button and notification bell. Yep.